The dangerous risk to ride bulls is worth the reward to some. There's a lot of demand, I think, um, more and more the sport's growing. Um, and we just, I want to, I rode bulls in Saddle Bronx a long time ago, and so I want to stay raising up um, bull riders and teaching them right. Teaching these young riders with help from the world champion bull rider, Gary Lafew. Today is what we call Discovery Day. We're kind of, we're, we're teaching the young riders, you know, having them get on, but even then, it's all going to be real new to them. And there's more than just strength and balance involved in the sport. Constantly moving up on your legs, you know, staying on your legs and setting your hips. And while they say practice makes perfect, it also means an occasional dose of pain for these riders. Because learning it, you're going to get your butt kicked a bunch. Even when you get good at it, you're going to take your butt kicking. And the only thing that these young bull riders have to protect themselves is a helmet and this vest and their skill. It's a very dangerous sport. and If you do something wrong, I mean, you're going to pay for it with your life. But the adrenaline high of riding these large animals is a one-of-a-kind feeling. In the Rose Bowl one year, there was 80,000 people in the stands. And, you know, as you're riding, that intensity level comes up, the screaming of the crowd. It's, you know, it's like being in the Super Bowl. It's like being in the NBA Finals. And while Steph Curry and LeBron James do get out for a championship right now, these bull riders are training for a career in this exhilarating sport. You know, it's a rough game, but it's, uh, where else are you going to find a job? You only work eight seconds a day. An eight-second workday on an 1,800-pound bull. In Lasore, Barrett Anderson, KEYC News 12.